What's going on everybody? This is Coach Brad. Today I'm going to show you how to practice doing a better squat. One that does not force your knees to go forward. What we're going to do is just use a wall. We're going to face the wall. I'm going to give you a little handicap. So say, go about one hand width away from the wall with your toe or the end of your sneaker. You're going to put your hands on the wall like this. And you're going to try to go into a seated position, a squat. If you need the security of having a chair or a bench under or behind you, go ahead and set one up. If you don't, your only goal is to descend to about 90 degrees of knee bend while not leaning forward and bumping your nose into the wall and not moving so far backward with your weight that you fall off balance. So you're going to do something like this. your back nice and straight. If that's too easy, go ahead and move up about two inches. So half the distance that you started with and try it again. Whoa, okay, so that one I almost lost my balance leaning backwards there. You can see that. You'll start to feel your toes peel off the floor. So this will help improve your squat, but it'll do that by making you more aware of your position. Just, just realize that as you squat, as your hips move back, your weight shifts back. And as they move back, your upper body tries to move forward to counterbalance you. Your body is fully aware that it doesn't want to become unstable. It doesn't want to fall. That's one of the fears we're born with. <clears throat> but this will give you good awareness of your body positioning, but you won't go overly forward like this. And you won't shove your knees too far forward because they'll just hit the wall. And obviously we're trying to avoid that. So guys, try this out to see if you can improve your squat. This is a little challenge you can do right at home or even in your office. This is my wall squat drill. Check this out and look for your feedback in the comments. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.